Hey guys, it's Katie Myers from the stream team. I am so excited because this morning our producer Melissa, she called me and she said, Katie, get here ASAP. Skylar Aston's gonna be on the show. And I said, Fuck, excuse me? When I tell you that I have watched Pitch Perfect no less than 5,000 times, I am not lying. So, today, we caught up with Skylar behind the scenes. We asked him a couple of rapid fire questions that you did not see in his interview with Sydney Shu. Come along with us, find out a little more. Who's the last person you texted? My mom. What is your nickname? Skybo. Skybo? Where'd mm -hmm. you get that? My mom. Mom, great. Uh, how are you most like your character, Todd? Mmm, I like to think on my feet and I like not, I don't like to take things too seriously. I like to have fun even in serious situations. That's a good quality. Yeah. How are you least like Todd? I think I'm a little more organized and a little bit less fearless. Less fearless. So more fearful. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're following the double negative there. When you're back in New York, mm -hmm. Where's your favorite place to go? Broadway and Madison Square Garden. Speaking of, mm -hmm. what's the last show you saw? The last show I saw was Take Me Out and Merrily We Roll Along. Anything you're looking forward to? Yes, I'm seeing Kimberly Akimbo tonight. I can't wait. Amazing, that's on my list too. Yeah. Go to karaoke song. Uh, Wanna Be Spice Girls. Are you gonna give us a little taste? Or? Uh, if you wanna be my lover. We gotta get with my friends. I like group songs because we all get to kind of take a verse. Group songs, everybody, so ready? Story, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's easy. It's favorite. Also, okay. New York State of Mind. If I'm like need to, you know, prove a point. Yeah. yeah. Favorite line from Pitch Perfect. Uh, favorite Aka pun. I'm not drunk. You're just blurry. That was an improv by me and Rebel Wilson, actually. Got it. Yeah. So. um... I don't know if you saw, but the Empire State Building just lit up in Eagles colors. Not a fan. Big you... fan of the building. My dad worked there for years. I have nothing but respect for the landmark. It's an iconic place. I do not support that. Okay. And what I'm talking about specifically is they lit up the Empire State Building in Eagles colors when they won the NFC Championship. And as a Jets fan and also Giants fan, it's just why would we do that? And just generally a New York fan. And just generally a New York fan. I mean, if the Red Sox win the World Series, are we going to do Red Sox colors? That's insane. Insane. Can't do that. They wouldn't do that for us on their Liberty Bell. That's Philadelphia. Uh, any last pitch, why should people tune in to So Help Me Todd? Well, uh, if you have any family, whether it's estranged or close-knit, uh, it kind of explores all of that stuff. Uh, so Help Me Todd is fun, it's funny, it also hits the heart, has dramatic elements, and there's also a fun case every week. So you get a little bit of something of everything, and I, I highly recommend it. Also, I'm on it. But also, I would highly recommend it no matter what. Also, I'm on it.